Hi, I'm Mr. Slunky Pix, and today I'm exploring a rural Alberta, Canada junkyard. These cars, well, they're great relics, but they won't be here very long, so let's check them out. You know, I've seen a six-pack carburetor before, but I've never seen a six-pack of cars before. Man, this is crazy here. Look at that, it's a Firebird. Man. You know, I wonder if we're going to find any other Firebirds or Camaros. Because they aren't too, too common. Pretty cool. Another Camaro? This one looks like a Z28. It still has the louvers and the spoiler on the back. Here's the Camaro from the back. There's this van here that used to have some iron cross bubble portholes, but sadly doesn't anymore. We didn't get them. Someone else did. Would have been cool in its day. But there's a few vans around here. It sure sucks seeing a couple vans just rusting out together. Oh well. Man, this place has a lot of old vans. And a few old trucks. It's crazy here. Man, it would sure be nice to see these all uh, fixed up, but looks like it's too late for a lot of them. Good for a few parts, though. Oh well. Man, so many old cars and vans and trucks. This van just took a stop at the uh, little pond here. <laughs> There's a econo line here, similar to the one that we just fixed up. Awfully similar to the one that we just fixed up recently. It's even a E-150 as well. It's so similar in fact that it's even got the same wheels we put on. Seems to be another camper van too. But I doubt that it was a camper van from the dealership. Actually Looks pretty similar on the inside, too. Wow. It's the same engine as the one that was in ours, too. But it doesn't seem like this was the factory color. So, can't exactly help our friend that got it. As far as Broncos go... Usually they have rusted out tip gates. This one's pretty good. It's still got the window. Even that little bit of trim is still there on the back. Pretty good. So we can't exactly get inside the Bronco because of just the way it is. But um, eventually we might be able to. Looks like there was... Uh, Someone who really liked red. Yeah, it's pretty cool in here. It'd be nice to see it get back on the road if it was possible. Don't know. Oh well. This completely reminds me of the Goonies movie. The bad guys drove a Jeep just like this. Let's take a closer look. Uh, the inside doesn't even look too bad. Power seats... Look how good condition that is. Man, it looks great. I wonder what kind of kilometers are in this. Oh, one sec. 275,000 kilometers. Uh, don't know what that is in miles. Probably 180,000. Oh, look at that. It's even got the original Jeep keys. How cool is that? GM Jeep keys, a lot of the stock stuff. Everything's stock. 
man, this is in good condition. Somebody who's restoring one of these could really use this interior. Man, it's in great shape. Okay. Yeah, the interior is good, but the, uh, well, the engine isn't quite so good. Still a pretty cool Jeep, though. This Buick looks like it's something straight out of the future, 70 years ago. It's got some cool portholes on the side. And all in all, it gives off that great 50s feeling. This Ranger XLT came with factory air conditioning, but... I don't know why they needed factory air conditioning if they forgot to order a roof with it. There's a Ford van under a Dodge truck. Wonder if there's any goodies in there. Don't know how many of you need a rusted out engine, but it's here if you want. Wow, I found a really cool Firebird here. It's just stuck under a Ranger. Let's check it out. Wow. For sitting out here for so long, crushed under a truck, it is pretty good. This old Bronco, too, looks like somebody made it into a pre-runner at some point. Yep. They got the roll bar on it. And judging by the front of the roof... Looks like the uh, roll bar did its job. Look at that, I found a special edition aspen among the fir trees. Huh. There are another old muscle car stuck. So, I found a taxi cab. Huh. Funny. Wonder how many people got taken around in this. Can't really get a better view, though. Look at that. We found another van crushed under a bunch of cars. Crazy how much stuff is out here. Man. So this is a pretty interesting GMC station wagon. See, it's got two doors over here. But on the other side... Stuck between a couple trees. It's kind of sad. But on the other side here, it's got one door. So anyone in the back would have had to come from the other side. Crazy. You'd expect it on a van, but not on a station wagon. Crazy. Look at that. We found a newspaper in a car out here. I wonder what date this says. Oh, Monday, March 2nd, 1987. Hmm. Hmm. Poor Cutlass. Definitely seen better days. Old Torino sedan. Lots of stuff here. There's a teeny little bit of rust. If you look... Right where the seed is coming completely through the floorboards, you might spot a teeny bit of rust. Look at that, another Bronco. And this one is not a fucking Bronco, or else it would be able to buck off the other truck on top of it. But it's getting squished soon. He's a 80s Grand Prix. Huh. It's got the T roofs on it, too. And one is still good, even after being crushed. 
Oh, probably some good parts for someone. From this angle, the Monte Carlo here looks like it's banking on the racetrack. But I'll tell you, this thing hasn't driven in a long time. Other than being faded, the interior's fabric seems pretty good. It doesn't seem to have many holes, if there even are any. Pretty good. Man. Man, this, this short box short step box side step is getting, side really, getting rusty. really rusty. It's too bad. These, too things, bad. Are bad. These things, things are getting a lot more popular recently. recently. It'd be a shame to see it get shame crushed, it but get crushed. I guess it's too late for this one. It's too late. I don't know I don't if the factory, the factory knew what the guy meant by, convertible, by convertible van. van. There's even a van here. Looks similar to one we have in our yard. I can't tell if this van has it or not. But it was this was around the time ABS came out. So it was popular on these vans and they plastered it almost everywhere too bad the windows broken on the back of this this one looks like it was probably someone's cool car at some point long time ago though ooh look at the 390 emblem on the station wagon would have been a high performance one. Here's the inside of that Ranchero. It's got a cool dashboard. Man, that's pretty cool. It's got some cool seats too. Wow, this would have been a cool car at one point. Look at that, there's another Ranchero behind the 390 station wagon. 70s one though, kind of ugly. Stroller and crib in here. Weird. Oh, wow, there's a lot of junk in here. Previous owner must have been a hoarder. Well, in this van, there's a, a lot of drive shafts. I mean, it's a lifetime supply, I guess. Don't know why you need it. I always liked these square body trucks when they had the uh, factory wood floor in there. I haven't seen too many of them, but unfortunately this one is too far gone. About a 1987 Monte Carlo here. Well, based on the rust right where it says Jeep on the side, I don't know if this one's going to get fixed. Lucky for it, it'll probably be crushed within the next month. I had a lot of fun exploring this junkyard today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And leave a comment telling me what your favorite vehicle here was. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.